We have a 1982 collector edition Corvette today, and it has about 66 or 6,300 actual miles. This is a survivor that looks brand new practically. It's won the Top Flight Award, scoring 99.4 uh, points out of 100. Uh, full owner history documentation. It was a three owner car. Um, there's photos of some of this documentation on our website, but it has all the literature, the build sheet, window sticker. Um, the invoice, uh, some maintenance records, the judging sheets, uh, you name it, it's got it. The original keys, that's all in this binder here that goes with the car, of course. Now, the Collector Edition vet comes loaded to the gills, uh, comes with options and accessories you could only get on this car, including the wheels, the bronze tops, the color scheme inside and out. This rear hatch window opens. Uh, lots of fine uh, extra appointments on the interior, which we'll show you in a little bit. But a loaded car um, with, again, features only available on this model. This was the first Corvette to break the $20,000 mark. And this one optioned out at about $24,000. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all about it. Look at about 100 pictures top to bottom of this car. And that's also where you'll find a price tag along with the monthly finance option as well. They're only 10% down, and they'll go up to, I think, 13 or 14 years on almost all of our cars. So that should make it real easy to afford. That's all at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified when the next one's posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. So the underneath is Survivor, and it's very well preserved. I've seen lots of Survivors where it's rusty and corroded. Not this one. It, it's very, very nice and clean. Uh, all the suspension and uh, all the components are nice and clean still. There's some maintenance records. There's a few bushings. You know, very minimal work had to be done to it. Some gaskets and that just to keep it, you know, functioning well. Um, disc brakes at all four wheels. It has the original exhaust, has the catalytic converter, and the mufflers say GM, and they're dated to this car. So the original exhaust system, and it's still in excellent shape. Uh, everything is proper. The e-brake cables, uh, there's still tags on the springs. There's stencil marking on the rear leaf spring. Uh, it has the spare tire carrier. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's all nice and clean. 700 R4 overdrive automatic transmission. Uh, and again, for a survivor, it's one of the better ones I've seen underneath the car. The body is excellent. I don't know of a single flaw. This is all original paint. Let's check it out. It's called Silver Beige. It's a nice, I've always thought of these cars being classy, sophisticated. It's not purple with yellow stripes like they had the one pace car. This is a nice, clean, sophisticated car. So silver beige metallic, and the body is mint. I mean, I don't see a flaw whatsoever. This is all rubber up front here. It's mint. It fits nice. It's not broken or cracked or damaged. All of this looks really, really great. The body, body's outstanding. The paint is as well. I haven't found a flaw in the paint yet. There's no chips or nicks that I'm finding. A little tiny, tiny one, like the tip of a pen. Um, all the striping has the fadeaway decal and all this extra pinstripe. Here's a little scratch in the pinstripe. Down here's a little mark, a little dark spot right there. So I mean, you got to look really close to even find a, a tiny flaw. This paint is beautiful. Back rubber bumpers mint. It's got the darker, uh, darker color inside the tail lights. All special emblems, Corvette Collector Edition, power antenna, the original Eagle GT Goodyear tires. They still have plenty of tread on them. Now the wheel that was supposed to mimic the 1967 bolt-on wheel, uh, so that uh, resembles that very much. And this was the only car this was ever used on, was the 82 Collector Edition. And they're in excellent shape. The clear coat on them is real nice. It's not peeling. They're not scraped. Uh, bronze T-top, 
for this car only. They're not mirrored. Well, they're mirrored, but with a bronze tint. All the glass is excellent. All the rubber is still soft. Crossfire injection emblem. Even the rubber spoiler way down there is excellent. Yeah, so outside the car, it's it's a 9.5, 9.9 uh, out of 10. Let's open it up, see if the inside's just as nice. I'm sitting here because there's a handle that says hatch. That opens the back window. Or is supposed to, anyway. There we go. These have lost their oomph, the gas struts, but that can be replaced easily. So, the 82 Collector Edition, the only Corvette you could get this window on. In 84, with the all-new design, they were hatch windows. Uh, all the carpet in the car is a plush, thicker carpet, uh, more so than in any of the other Corvettes that year. Here's the original mats. Uh, you have the shade. You have the original speakers. This is all in excellent shape. The rubber is nice and soft. There's no frame around the window. It's a frameless glass hatchback window. Door jams are original. Weather strips are not beat up. And uh, the door panels are genuine leather with the uh, th three or four different color scheme going on there. They're in mint shape. Look how the bottom half is all carpeted on a standard Corvette. They were vinyl with uh, no carpet. Dash area is mint. It has 6,364 miles. This is a tilt telescopic wheel. Leather wrapped, even the horn buttons wrapped in leather. Corvette Collector Edition. So tilt, telescopic, and cruise control. <clears throat> the vents are mint. The gauges, all this is pristine. This is at like a metallic brown color instead of black has the optional cassette stereo with the CB. It says GM right on there. That's original option. Uh, it has holders here for your tapes. Interior lights work. These are aftermarket floor mats, the originals I just showed you. Carpet's in excellent shape. None of this is worn down at all. Uh, it's never been smoked in. The lighter and ashtray are mint. So we have power windows, we have power mirrors, we have a power seat, we have power locks. All leather. Typical Corvette, if you got leather, is just the center section. This is all leather upholstery with the multiple colors and the matching leather armrest cushion. So carpet on the backs of the seats, visors, everything in here is excellent condition. It has a rear window defogger, power antenna too. So they come very well loaded, and then this one even uh, has the other available options that you could check off. It's a 350 Crossfire injection, and man, this is, again, one of the nicest survivors I've seen. Uh, it's immaculate. It's not old and, and cruddy. It still has original stickers in place. And the finishes are all nice and clean and tidy. Uh, smog equipment's in place. It has a little solenoid that lets in the fresh air um, through the cowl in, or hood induction, whatever you want to call it. This is a reproduction GM hose. That's probably been changed at one time. The smog equipment, the finned valve covers are all there. If you look up front here, look at these vacuum cans and the clamps and the hoses still in pristine condition. The air conditioning is blowing cold. And again, everything is just so, so nice. Uh, I think this car has been treated like a collector car since day one. Uh, the first owner had the car. Uh, let me pull out my notes. First owner had the car until 2004. The second owner bought it, won the Top Flight Award in 2006. He sold it to the third owner in 2018 with 6,247 miles. That's who we purchased it from. So it's a three owner car.
Breaker Breaker. Do I got any Smokies out there today? We've had a few of these with real low miles. This is the nicest one. It's brand new inside here. So I've always liked this car. I think it's a special car considering all the options. I've always been drawn to the colors. Again, not that I'm a very classy guy, but this is a classy car and I like it. And I can appreciate all the extra leather and the thicker carpet and just, there's just nicer appointments for this whole car, the bronze tops. And this is probably the best one I've ever seen. Go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman. They'll help answer your questions. They can get this delivered to your door. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified when the next video is posted. Thanks for watching.